Hey guys, I'm Eric at AeroGuard Flight Training Center and today what we're going to do is learn how to use the E6B to calculate a magnetic heading. Uh, and this comes from a question specific in the FAA uh, Knowledge Test Bank and we're going to use that example uh, to help us figure out how to use this E6B. So the question we're going to use today is this. It says, determine the magnetic heading for a flight from Sandpoint Airport, which will be in Area 1, to St. Marie's Airport in Area 4. Uh, the wind is from 215 degrees at 25 knots, and the true airspeed is 125 knots. Okay, so there's a lot to unpack here. We'll get started by bringing up the image from the question. First, let's draw our true course by connecting a line from Sandpoint Airport to St. Marie Airport. And I'll put a little arrow uh, just so we are reminded about the direction. Next, uh, we can measure this true course using uh, the plotter. To do that, we'll simply align the top edge of the plotter along the course line and then rotate the, the wheel until those the grid lines are uh, aligned with either a line of latitude or a line of longitude. Uh, in this case, we're following our arrow and the true course is approximately 181 degrees. So based on the chart, we know our true course is 181 degrees. But the question wants us to determine our magnetic heading. In order to do that, we're going to need to make a few adjustments to the true course. We're going to first have to make an adjustment for the wind, which means we're going to need to determine our true heading. And then we're going to need to adjust for magnetic variation, which will make us go to a magnetic heading. And that will be our, our final result. So now, we need to apply our true course and the other details from the question to determine what the uh, true heading will be. To do that, we're going to jump over to the E6B and work through the, the sequence to, to, to calculate our true heading. So over to the E6B, and our first step is to set our wind direction under the true index. Our wind direction from the question was 215 degrees. And next, it's going to ask us to mark the wind velocity up from the center point. In this case, I have the center point resting on 100. I chose that just because it makes the math easier for me. Uh, our wind speed is 25 knots. So, I'm going to find 25 knots above 100, so at this 125 line is where we will make our wind dot. Great. Our next step uh, with the E6B is to rotate our true course under this true index. As we recall from before, our true course is about 181 degrees. So I'm going to rotate this to 181 degrees. And our next step is going to be to slide this wind dot until it touches the true airspeed line. Our true airspeed was 125 knots, so I'm simply going to slide this down. And as you see, we see the wind dot now is touching uh, this, or is, is resting on this 125 line. Our final steps are we could read our ground speed from under the center. That's fine, but in this case, it's sort of irrelevant to the purpose of our question. And what's more important is our wind correction angle. So we see our wind correction angle is approximately six degrees to the right. So what I will do then is, is come back over here, and I know that for our true heading, we have a wind correction angle. I'll abbreviate it as WCA, that is, uh, six degrees to the right, so that means it's a positive six degrees. Okay, so true course is 181 degrees, 
We can add the six degrees of wind correction angle, and that means our true heading will be 187 degrees. Last but not least, we have to make the jump to magnetic heading. Okay, in order to do that, uh, what we need to know is magnetic variation. So what is the magnetic variation to adjust for? Let's go back to the chart. We are looking for a dashed magenta line, and on that line, it will indicate our variation. In this case, the closest line uh, is a line of variation that says 15 degrees, and then it has the letter E, which means east. We have variation, uh, and if we have east variation, we're going to subtract. I use the, the mnemonic, east is least. So in this case, that means we're going to subtract the 15 degrees of variation. So now what we need to do is take our true heading minus the 15 degrees of variation, and we will get our result, a magnetic heading of 172 degrees. Now we can go back to the question, look at our answers, and determine which answer is the correct one. From the question, we see the first possible magnetic heading it gives us is 349 degrees. That is way off. The second is 187 degrees. Well, that is the true heading, but the question asks for our magnetic heading. And the last option is 172 degrees, which is exactly what we determined for our purposes here. All right, so we got the correct answer. Everything is good to go now. Uh, hopefully we help develop your knowledge a little bit further with the use of the E6B. Once again, my name is Eric with AeroGuard Flight Training Center, and don't forget to like or subscribe as we're going to continue to produce more and more of this content and hopefully help you along in your aviation journey. Thanks. Bye.